Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deodex your stock ROM. To keep it short, deodexing your stock ROM allows you to have teams on your ROM, customizing uh, system apps and everything. Because if you do not deodex it, whatever uh, system app you replace, if it has an Orex file like, like in here, um, it will just stay the same, nothing will change. So this helps you customize your phone. So to begin, what you need to do first is you go to settings, go to applications, development, and be sure to have USB debugging enabled. After that, just close everything and connect your phone to the USB. Like this, just keep it connected. Do not mount uh, the USB storage uh, or anything of the sort. Just leave it like this. And okay, obviously for this next part, we are going to need to use our computer. So download the needed tool from the link in the video description, and you need either WinR or 7-Zip to extract it. So just extract the zip file. we got the folder open it and run the main file preferably as administrator if it's on desktop on the Windows 7 just to stay away from errors choose yes it's going to ask you for a update to the version just choose no by typing N and remember to keep your phone connected and now, to begin, we are going to need to pull the system files from from system app, then from system framework. First, we begin with system app. So choose option one. It will start um, copying the system apps from your phone. There we go. Currently, it is doing it. So just be patient for this part. and there we go it has put the system apps from the app folder press any key then choose option 2 to pull the other system apps once again be patient for this one as well but these are less files it should be done faster and ok we are done with this just press any key again and now we are going to the Orex we will begin by choosing the option 3 first so choose option 3 press enter and it will begin um, now this might take a while um, more than 5 minutes at least and in case you get an error um, you can see from which file we got the error we need to go to the Origi app folder and we are going to have to delete the Oryx file and you may need to start over but at least you won't have an error so just wait for the error to come hopefully you won't get one so this is what I was talking about as you can see I got an error for the email Oryx file if you scroll up a bit you see where it started deodexing it and an error occurred so yeah what you do is you go to origi app and you look for that file in my case it is email orix here it is I'm going to delete that file let's go back um, press any key but it will say something went wrong so yeah just go back here by pressing enter a few times and choose option 3 again and this time with the deleted Oryx file you shouldn't get an error in case you get another error from a different file just delete it again the Oryx file and just start over eventually you finish this without any errors and you'll be done so yeah currently it is warning me um, that files exist if I choose no it will just show me that an error occurred again like this 
so you are forced to delete these files which you the a uh, few minutes ago so just choose yes and it will just start over again be patient and ok we are done with this no errors this time as you can see press enter and then choose option 4 this won't take long because it's only 23 files and it is more likely that you won't get any errors in these um, system apps from the framework folder now again just wait for it to finish and we are done with this last part press any key and you can now exit this program and what we need to do next is we need to copy these two folders done app and done frame to into our phone's SD card um, so select them connect your phone with USB mass storage and copy them to your SD card whatever you want preferably in the root directory of your SD card so for this next part just um, connect the USB storage now after you have connected your phone to your computer you can see the drive here uh, just select the two folders don't app and don't frame either move or copy you choose and just move them to the root directory of SD card here paste once it is done disconnect the phone's um, USB storage and for the next part we're going to have to use the Android SD key to push files and remove them and all that by using commands on how to set up Android SD key you can find another video which I've made specially for it by clicking in the little button which you see now after it's done copying disconnect the USB storage and try to keep your phone uh, unlocked like this you'll be getting a super user request in a few and now for this part go to your system drive program files folder android folder android sd key go to platform tools um, hold the shift key and right click on an empty spot at the folder and you can see the option open command window here open it up and we are going to type in a few commands now you can find those in the post anyways let's begin after typing this it should request super user access um, it might not appear the request screen but anyways you are now there so type in stop next and these next commands are a bit um, long so just copy them and paste there we go So what we're doing at the moment is we are copying the updated system files into our system folder and after that we are deleting the Oryx files. And finally we type in the reboot command
your galaxy will have a reboot now there we go and here we are the phone has rebooted as you can see and it is possible because of the error which I got with the email APK my email app is gone but I don't really care because I don't use email I just use Gmail app anyways once we are done with this let us see we have the Oryx files so just use the root browsing tool let's go to the previous directory which you were there we go not a single Oryx app and now whichever app you modify like the, you, ch you want to change the contact icons for example or anything other you can now do it without a problem changes will appear on your phone because previously they wouldn't because of the Oryx files for a more in-depth explanation of what is a Oryx and what is Oryx you can find another link for that in the post if you are curious to know what we just did and yeah that's about it that's how you Oryx your stock ROM on the Galaxy Y um, like, comment, subscribe goodbye